Good day everyone. So for today's video, we are going to discuss something about the standard form of the equation of the ellipse given that its center is at hk. Okay, so let us just have a review that uh, the standard form of the equation of the ellipse given that um, its center is at the origin and it is oriented horizontally is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Now, kapag ang, ang center naman natin ay nasa HK, then we would have modification sa ating x-coordinate and y-coordinate. Meaning to say, our standard equation uh, of the ellipse, given that its center is at HK, would be x minus h square over a square plus y minus k square over b square equals 1. And on the other hand, if we have a vertical ellipse, um, kapag ang center niya ay nasa origin, we have x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. At uh, since ang ating, vertex, ang ating center ngayon ay nasa hk, then we would have modifications at a x and y coordinate. So we would have x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. Okay, so ganun lang po that we just have modifications at the x and y coordinate of the center of the ellipse. So let us have an example. Suppose we have this. We have the center at 4, comma, negative 3, one focus at 10, comma, negative 3, and minor axis of length 16 units. So let us jot down all the uh, given. Sabi dyan, our center is now at center at 4, comma, negative 3, to which C4 yung ating H at yung negative 3 yung ating K. And then, we also uh, we also given by, uh, by the, or we are also given one of its foci. So, focus natin it would be at 10, comma, negative 3. Okay? So, kung mapapansin natin, kung i-graph natin siya, Suppose this will be our graph. Then, if the center is at 4, comma, negative 3, then it would be here. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have 4, comma, negative 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, the center would be here. And, sabi dyan, one of its focus is at 10, comma, negative 3. Hence, we'll extend our graph. We will extend our graph to which ang ating magiging isang focus ay at 10, comma, negative 3. So we have, this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here will be our one of its focus. So yung focus natin ay nasa right ng center natin. Ibig sabihin, ang atin pong, uh, ang atin pong, um, uh, ang atin pong ellipse ay what? Since ang focus natin ay nasa right ng ating center, then our center is actually oriented horizontally. Okay? So ang ating pong ellipse, ang ating pong ellipse ay horizontal. Ang ating ellipse ay horizontal. Now, how many units yung distance from our center down to our focus? Since it's from 10 to 4, comma, negative 3, at yung ating foca, isang focus ay 10, comma, negative 3, then the distance, the distance between this one, sorry, the distance from the center down to our focus is actually what? Actually, our value of C. At kung bibilangin natin yan, that is actually 10 minus 4, and that is 6 units. Hence, the value of C Hence, the value of C would be 6 units. Okay po? Now, we can now have our uh, next focus or the, the second focus. Okay? So, we would have, we would have, since ang ating center ay at 4, negative 3, then yung ating isang focus would be what? Since dito nag-add tayo, so, mag, mag, magma-minus naman tayo ng C units. So, we have 4 minus C, ta, comma, negative 3. And we would have, so this would be focus 2. 
So, we would have 4 minus, so yung 6 natin, that is the value of B, or the value of C, comma negative 3. Then, we would have what? Uh, the next, or the coordinate of our second focus would be at negative 2, comma negative 3. And, by plotting it to the, uh, by plotting it to our Cartesian coordinate system, we would have negative 2, we have 1, 2, then we have negative 3, 1, 2, 3. So, this would be our second focus. Okay? So, we name it focus 1 and focus 2. So, that is where our focus is. Next, given. Next, we are also given, sabi dyan, minor axis of length 16 units. So, we are given the, the idea that our minor axis, our minor axis actually contains our co-vertices. Okay? The co-vertices. And if it, it, it if it, uh, if it, it, if it contains our vertices, then what? So from one covertex to the other one covertex, then that would be the length of our minor axis. And we all know that our covertex is what? Our covertex is B units away from our center. Okay? So kung B units siya away from our center, then B units dito, then B units din sa baba. Okay po? Since, uh, ang focus natin ay nasa kanan at kaliwa na. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung ating length ng minor axis is actually what? If this is B units and this is another B units, then the length of our minor axis would be would be 2B. Hence, for us to get the value, uh, since our minor axis, our minor axis is equal to 16 units, then we would have an idea that for us to get the value of B, that is 2B equals 16, then we have to divide it by 2, then the value of B would be positive or 8 units. So, ito po yung ating um, co, uh, ito po yung distance ng ating co-vertex sa ating center. And for us to get the coordinates of the co-vertices, then we have, since ang ating center is at HK, then, so let go lang, center is at HK, then ang ating co-vertex, since ang minor axis natin ay uh, vertical, then ang gagalawin natin ay yung K. So ang ating, uh, ang ating vertex, ang ating co-vertex would be at H, X plus or minus B. Okay po? But since our center is at is at 4, negative 3, we have 4, negative 3, so B, or the vertex, uh, the co-vertex would be at 4, negative 3, then we are to add and subtract B units from it, then co-vertex 1 would be at 4, negative 3 plus 8, and then cover, uh, the second covertex would be at 4, comma, negative 3 minus 8. So we would have covertex 1 would be at 4, comma, positive 5. And then the, uh, the, the, the second covertex would be at 4, comma, negative 11. So this would be the, ver the coordinates of our covertices. Okay, po. And if we are going to, if we are going to locate that in our uh, Cartesian coordinate system, then we would have, so we have 4, 5, so we have 4, 5, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here is our first two vertex, and then our, our second two vertex would be at 4, negative 11. So we have here 4, negative 3. Negative 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, this is where our second co-vertex is. Okay? So, we have co-vertex B. Okay po? So, nagkakaroon na po tayo ng idea kung ano ang itsura ng ating um, ellipse. Okay po? Next is that we have our, what? Our vertices. And we all know that for us to get the our vertices, that is what? Vertices is vertices is A units away from our center. But then again, wala pa tayong value ni A. 
But we have an idea that B is equal to what? B is equal to A square or the square root of A square minus C square. Then we would have we would have B square equals to A square minus C square. And for us to get the value of A, then that is actually what? That is actually A square equals what? A square equals B square plus C square. And then by, by the rule of math, we would have A square equals the value of B natin I. Ano nga value ni B natin? Value of B is 8 and the value of C is 6. So we would have, we would have B square, that's 8, square plus, plus what? Plus C square, that's 6 square. So we would have 64 plus 36, that is A square. So we'd have A square equals 100, but then we are after the value of A. And to get that, we are to extract the roots of both sides. Then, the value of A would be positive 10. Okay po? So, meaning our co-vertex or our vertices would be 10 units away from our center. And, if our center is at, again, if our center is at HK, then, if our center is at HK, then our vertex would be, or our vertices would be, uh, since ang focus natin is nasa left and right, so ang gagalawin natin ay yung H. So our coordinates of the vertex would be at H plus or minus A comma K. And then we would have, so our vertex 1 would be at, what the value of H is 4 comma negative 3, if I'm not mistaken. So 4 plus or minus the value of A, that's 10. And then comma, I sorry, 4, sorry, 4 plus 10, comma negative 3, and then vertex 2 would be at 4 minus 10, comma negative 3. Then, the coordinates of our vertex would be at, si vertex 1 ay kay 14, comma negative 3, and then our vertex 2 would be at negative 6, comma negative 3. So, ito po yung magiging coordinates ng ating Vertices. So, 14 comma negative 3 and negative 6 comma negative 3. So, let us, uh, let us locate that. So, this is, the focus is actually at 10 na. So, dadagdag na lang tayo ng 4. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is vertex 1. And our vertex 2 is at negative 6 comma negative 3. Then, we would have, this is negative 2 already. So, negative 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is where our second uh, vertex is. And if we are going to, uh, if we are going to have our um, ellipse, then it would look like this one. Alright, so it is a horizontal ellipse. We're in our ma minor axis. Our minor axis is, kung nasaan yung ating co-vertices, Ito yung ating minor axis. Then, we would have, sa our, ang ating minor axis would be vertical. And then, our major axis would be, would be horizontal. Horizontal. But then again, that is just the, the graph or the sketch of the graph of the ellipse. We are still not given the uh, the standard form of the equation of the ellipse. Okay? Since the, since our major axis is horizontal, then we will have an idea that its standard equation would be at x minus h square over what? Over a square. Kasi horizontal tayo. Plus y minus k square over b square equals 1. Okay? And ang ating center, sabi natin, is at H, ang center natin is at 4, comma, negative 3, wherein 4 is our H, and negative 3 is our K, and then the value of our A is actually what? It's actually 10, and then the value of our B is actually 8. And then, 
we may now plug in the, the, the values to our formula. So, we would have, that is, x minus ang ating hi, 4 square over ang ating a. Ang ating a is actually 10 square, sorry, that's 10 square plus y minus ang ating k ay negative 3. So, we have negative 3 here square over ang ating value ng b ay 8. So, we have 8 square equals 1. And simplifying this, we would have we would have x minus 4 square over what is 10 square? That is actually 100 plus or you can actually have it 10 square na lang kung gusto ninyo plus y minus negative 3 that is actually y plus 3 square over 8 square or 64 if you want equals 1. Hence, the standard form of the equation of the ellipse would be at x minus 4 square over 10 square plus y plus 3 square over 8 square equals 1. And